On May 7th of this year, a Beach Baron, a twin-engine aircraft, crashed shortly after takeoff from Broomfield Airport in Colorado. That's just north of Denver. Uh, both the pilot and the passenger were killed in that incident. Let's take a look at what happened. Okay, the aircraft involved here is November 3, 4321 Zulu. Uh, that's the tail number on this aircraft. It's a Beach Baron, a twin engine, very popular airplane, retractable gear, uh, plenty of power. And uh, But the, shortly after takeoff, uh, they report that one of the doors has opened up on the aircraft. Now, it causes a, a host of problems. Uh, one is it becomes extremely loud in the cockpit. You can't even hear each other talk. It's, it's hard to describe how loud it is with all of that rushing air. Uh, probably every publication you have, every piece of paper goes flying. Every Every little piece of dirt goes flying through the cockpit. It's quite a disturbance. In addition to that, now it causes a tremendous amount of drag on the airplane. So much drag that the airplane can't maintain altitude? I don't think so, uh, especially in a twin. I think most likely what happened here was pilot distraction because it's so easy to become distracted in a situation like this and stop flying the airplane. But let's follow along and see what happens uh, to these two guys. Okay, this is the last we hear from these guys. Uh, the tower calls them and says, hey, are you guys able to climb? So they're obviously at a very low altitude uh, initially here. And so low, the tower calls them up and says, hey, you know, what's going on? They call back and, and say, hey, look, our door has popped open, so we know what's the problem. Uh, then they also add to that, I, I can't even hardly hear you. It's so loud in here. So basically what the tower controller is going to do from this point forward is yell into the microphone and clear everybody out of the way and say you're clear to land on whatever runway you can just just come back to the airport it's wide open for you this guy gets busy now because he's got to clear everybody out remember he's still got airplanes on the ground he's got airplanes coming in he's got to get everybody out of the way for this aircraft that's in peril they can't hear him and uh, the first and foremost important thing on this aircraft is taking control of the aircraft. It may be that the pilot got so distracted with trying to get the door closed on whatever side it's on that they kind of stopped flying the airplane. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, uh, C-10, time to hear me, right to traffic, and I didn't ask if you could climb, there's not a low up there. Banana 43212, the Metro Tower, secure me, maneuver as needed, right down with three zero right, you'll be number one, three zero right, clear to land, but no need to hit the runway, let's see one. Is this tower controller is going to start to give him? initially specific instructions to come back to the runway. Now he's going to loosen it up as he talks to him. He's, and he tells him every time you're kind of low, you're kind of low, you're kind of low. Uh, you don't hear anything back from the airplane. I think these guys are trying to get the door closed. I think they've stopped flying the airplane, which is a problem. One of the things they train us in at the airline is to stop or the startle effect. So the startle effect is something happens, a light comes on, and everybody just stares at it for a minute. Um, the most famous one was uh, back in the day, I think it was back in the early 70s, uh, and I'm probably going to get the call sign wrong, but do you guys clear me up in the comments. I think it was uh, Eastern 401. Eastern 401 was flying an L-1011 aircraft, I think it was, out over the Everglades, and uh, the they lowered the gear for landing and they couldn't get a three down and locked indication. Now it turns out that the gear was down and locked, but one of the indicators wasn't indicating properly and all three pilots sat there and stared at that thing and tried to get it fixed and they fixated on that instrument indication in front of them and the airplane made a slow descent all the way into the ground nobody ever caught it that they were descending they crashed and it was completely avoidable so that distraction is easy to do the breaking the startle effect is important so i'm trained to when something happens like that whoever's flying says my aircraft and when you say my aircraft kind of assertively the other person goes oh yeah that's right you're flying 
I'll handle the emergency. I'll communicate with you. So the pilot monitoring starts the checklist. The pilot flying says, I got the airplane. That's really important here. This is a single piloted airplane, it looks like. So at any rate, the pilot should have said, I got it, I'm gonna fly and forget about the distractions. Forget about getting that door closed right now. I need to gain altitude. I don't think it happened. Okay, see how he opens it up for him? Uh, the, you know, uh, the, it's calm winds here. Any runway you need. If you can get lined up on anything, whatever you need, but you're too low. You're too low, he says to him. Calm winds. Uh, Land at any runway. Two one is that little short runway that you see, uh, you know, kind of parallel, not parallel, but perpendicular to the other two. So now he's clearing out all the other traffic. This is class D airspace. He says, everybody stay out of the Delta. I need everybody to clear out. He's got some airplanes that are still coming in to land. He's going to give them instructions all here right, in a minute. Do it straight out. Expect the uh, turn on uh, my call. All right, flying straight out. We'll expect turns on your call. Two front Fox for Julia. This guy just took off. Okay, I think at this point it's already too late because we're going to get confirmation from another aircraft that they see this guy has, has crashed. Uh, it's a very sad situation, but I think they took off from the runway. They started a right-hand turn. They, they got their, their problem, and I think they just let it fly right into the ground trying to get the doors closed. You know what? That's the least of your problems is that door. you got to climb this aircraft. Sorry, that man just went down north of uh, 36. Okay, so this other aircraft, uh, says these guys just went down. He can see the the smoke and the flames. There it is. There's a picture. Went down just north of 36. Yeah, of what uh, November five four six uh, November Delta sees this, and that's got to be shocking. You know, you're flying along and, you, and the guy in front of you, you see an airplane crash. I can't imagine. You know, think about how bad it is when you're driving down the road and you see a car crash. Like your heart just starts pounding out of your chest, uh, and you're wondering was anybody hurt? Well, you know that this is probably fatalities with this one, and it's, you know, and he's still got to keep flying his airplane. Uh, <laughs> Probably all crash. aircraft on frequency, all aircraft on frequency, <laughs> stand by, extend it away. Five 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 five. Right turn, south, 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 short, family late. Seven five 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 five. Now here's what's amazing to me, because we've covered a lot of accidents on this channel, uh, is that the tower controllers, ground controllers, approach controllers, they all have to keep doing their job in the midst of this. And these guys know, I just cleared that guy for takeoff. He called me up and said he had a door open and that's the last time he's dead. Most likely I'm never going to this. I just talked to this guy a minute ago and I, I made several kind of panicked calls to him. Hey, you're too low. You're too low. And now there's confirmation that this aircraft has crashed but I still have to keep moving other airplanes. It's amazing the resilience it takes on the part of these controllers to keep doing their job, but they are, they're very professional. Yeah, just go, go hold out there. I can't deal with you right now. We are not emergency. Because so that November five four six aircraft uh, says, "Hey, look, we just want to come back and land." I don't know what those guys were intending to do. They might have been going someplace, or they might have just been out kind of joyriding for the day. But now they've seen something that you can hear it in their voice, like we can't continue with this. You know, we got to come back and land, and that's a really good decision, right? When you're brain is there uh, and it's been distracted by something like this, best thing is to just get it on the ground. Good call. All aircraft on the run-up area, uh, it's going to be a, we're probably not even going to be able to depart to. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, stay in tension for 3-2 boss ready for Echo 9-1 Echo. Yeah, we're not going to allow any departures at this time. Uh, aircraft crash. We're going to shut down the airport. And uh, we're not moving any planes right now. Yeah. That makes sense. 704 uniform follow that's that's 9 left base or 30 left 3 land full stop only. Oh, that's 9 left base full stop 30 left. 
Full stop landings means uh, no touch and goes. Uh, we're going to bring it in. You're going to stop. You're going to taxi off. That's charge. The six hundred fucks are good. We're also good with a full stop landing. Uh, Archer, Fox, that's good. Copy that. Give me another spin over the Marshall Lake and then left that one. Oh, we're turning over Marshall Lake and left that one. Six hundred fucks are good. Five, 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 four, six, number Delta. Right base for my three zero right. Runway three zero right. Clear to land. Okay, so the aircraft crashed uh, just north of the airport. Uh, uh, Broomfield's a beautiful community. I've been there many times. I haven't flown out of this airport before, um, but I'm sure it's a very nice airport. Uh, kind of an upscale place, uh, expensive airplanes, I would imagine. Uh, a lot of probably recreational flyers. Uh, out of there this guy gets distracted by the door i'd like to hear from uh, those of you who are familiar with the beach baron i'm not all that familiar with that aircraft uh does it have a suicide door on the back of it i know we we took a look uh the crash out just side of lancaster uh pa and it was a bonanza i think it was uh that has that suicide door now i heard from a bunch of you that it probably wasn't the suicide door that opened on that just the the open the front door the opening of the front doors is enough of a distraction uh, for the pilots to stop kind of flying the airplane and, and induce a crash. Is that what happened with this Beechcraft aircraft, the Baron? Uh, let me know, because I want to get educated on this, and I, I look forward to reading your comments about what you think happened. Uh, when the NTSB preliminary report comes out on this, I'm going to do a follow-up on this, because I want to see exactly what happened uh, to this aircraft. Was it just pilot distraction, or was it that they actually couldn't maintain altitude even with the two engines operating and uh, is that a known problem in this aircraft let's find out uh, we'll wait for the ntsb report to come out to do the final video on this one uh, this one has a sad uh, ending to it unfortunately uh, both of the people on board perished um, but now you know and i'm captain steve fly safe